Good evening. Welcome to Wednesday Evening Vespers from First United Methodist Church of Ann Arbor. This week's word is patience, a quality we are surely being tested on as we draw close to the two-year mark of the COVID-19 pandemic. Tonight's service was originally available July 1st of 2020. Despite the passage of time, many of our questions remain the same, while some are new. When will we be uncumbered in our daily patterns? When will it be safe to gather without masks? When will our children be vaccinated? When will more choose to be vaccinated or gain access to vaccines? Again, let us spend these minutes together considering the words of our faith in scripture, prayer, and song that inspire us to meet life's obstacles and faith's challenges. Throughout the ages, disciples have said, I will follow you wherever you go. Lord, Lord give, give us the freedom, freedom to, to follow you in, in the ways of love. love. We come from busy homes, filled with little time to consider Christ in our lives. Lord, Lord give, give us the strength to follow you in the ways of peace. In times of struggle, we look to God for help. Lord, give us the opportunity to follow you in the ways of kindness. We celebrate the Holy Spirit, who shows us the joy of following God. Lord, give us the patience to follow you in the ways of faith. Amen. Our opening hymn this evening is, O God, Our Help in Ages Past. O God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come. Our shelter from the stormy blast and our eternal home. Before the hills in order stood, or earth received her frame. From everlasting thou art God, to endless is the sea. This evening's psalm is number 40. We use again the paraphrase from Nan Merrill's Psalms for Praying. This is an excerpt from Psalm 40. I waited patiently for the beloved who heard my cry and came to me. Love raised me from the pits of despair out of confusion and fear and set my feet upon a rock, making my steps secure. There is a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to the beloved. May many see and rejoice. May they put their trust in love. I aspire to reveal your steadfast love and truth through the witness of my life. Do not, O oh beloved, withhold your mercy from me. Let your love, your light, and faithfulness ever guide and uphold me. For fears so often overwhelm me. My desires and anger cause me to be blind. And I look away when I see injustice. My heart becomes cold. In your mercy, O oh beloved, deliver me. O oh love, make haste to help me. Let my fears be put to rest, fears that separate me from you. 
Let all that keeps me from love, from peace and gratitude, be transformed within me. And may all who seek love rejoice and be glad. May all who live truth and justice continually call upon love. As for me, though often broken and weak, I know love dwells within. For now, where injustice or illusion make their home, I witness to your peace and love, O teacher and friend to all. Our centering song this evening is Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, my soul, and bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, who leads me into life. Bless the Lord, my soul, Tonight's scripture is from the book of James, chapter 5, verses 7 through 13. The translation is the Common English Bible. Be patient, therefore, beloved, until the coming of the Lord. The farmer waits for the precious crop from the earth, being patient with it, until it receives the early and the late rains. You also must be patient. Strengthen your hearts, for the coming of the Lord is near. Beloved, do not grumble against one another, so that you may not be judged. See, the judge is standing at the doors. As an example of suffering and patience, beloved, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. Indeed, we call blessed those who showed endurance. You have heard of the endurance of Job, and you have seen the purpose of the Lord, how the Lord is compassionate and merciful. Above all, my beloved, do not swear, either by heaven or by earth or by any other oath, but let your yes be yes and your no be no, so that you may not fall under condemnation. Where do you turn when difficulties arise? On what do you rely when answers or solutions are out of your control? Use our time of meditation to consider how you may be more open to guidance from God and the Holy Spirit, especially when one's faith is seemingly stretched to the maximum.
O Great Spirit, whose breath gives life to the world, whose voice is heard in the soft breeze, we need your strength and wisdom. Cause us to walk in beauty. Give us eyes ever to behold the red and purple sunset. Make us wise so that we may understand what you have taught us. Help us learn the lessons that you have hidden in every leaf and rock. Make us always ready to come to you with clean hands and steady eyes. So when life fades, like the fading sunset, our spirits may come to you without shame. Amen. Thank you for joining our Vesper service. Our continued hope is that spending time together in prayer, song, and scripture provides your soul with encouragement and strength for endurance to act out your faith despite the obstacles. In the words of the hymn writer, be thou our guide while life shall last and our eternal home. Let us share in this responsive benediction. Your portion will appear in bold text. I lie down with God, and God lies down with me. I lie down with Christ, and Christ lies down with me. I lie down with the Spirit, and the Spirit lies down with me. God and Christ and the Spirit, all three with me. Amen.